Hey, what's up everybody? We're back with another video. Today's video is going to be a bit more simpler, and I'm just going to be giving you my top 5 kits to play Skywars Duels with. I see you know, the recent feedback on the last video, and I want to thank you guys for that, but I'm all about helping people out and stuff like that. So I figured I'd give you guys 5 kits that may help you get to Diamond 5 as well, just like I recently have. Without further ado, I want to ask you guys, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I'm a mellow YouTuber. Um... I feel like the perfect time you should watch my videos is before bed on a weekday. You know, I just make casual, calm content that you can just enjoy and relax too. So without further ado, please hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 300 subs if you're new. It's completely free. It's a free subscription. So it's like, why not, you know? Getting right into it, the first kit's going to be Pyromancer or Pyromacer. Um, this kit is um either Diamond or Iron or a combination of both, but I'm pretty sure a diamond sword that has fire aspect on it now this is good for getting uh kills and winning the game because if you're hitting a combo and you got fire aspect uh if somebody hits you because it also comes with fire aspect potions you're not gonna take damage uh but if they don't have fire aspect on it, you're hitting them with combos with the fire at the same time what this is gonna allow to happen to that player is that player is gonna die a lot faster so yeah this is why this is my favorite kit and i've gotten my most wins with this kit uh beyond any kind of like completely just i don't know like out of control kit like the golem kit my second kit of choice is going to be the scout kit i used to use the scout kit a lot back in the day especially uh I want to say before June of 2021 and before the summertime and stuff like that when I found out about uh, Pyromancer or Pyromancer. Um, the scout kit has a diamond axe. I'm pretty sure diamond armor and that axe has sharpness on it. That axe also deals a lot of damage and this is important because it could help kill that player with uh, less hits. It also comes with speed potions. Speed is good for PvP because if you're faster than that player you'll probably get a lot more hits. So um, yeah. All right, boys. So my third kit of court choice is definitely gonna be the um, Bowman kit, and I like the Bowman kit because I'm a decent snipe, and they've recently kind of buffed arrows, so they deal a lot more uh, damage than before. So yeah, I definitely mess with that kit, and I would recommend you guys check it out and whatnot. Um, it just comes with bows. I think it comes with basic iron tools and just basic armor. But the tools aren't really useful. It's really all about the bow. I'm not sure what the bows or the bow have on them. But it definitely deals decent damage. If you can get consistent hits, you could easily get that kill. And you might just knock somebody off of a bridge with the kit. Hitting somebody with a bow while they're trying to cross over to you. So yeah, I'd recommend checking that kit out for sure. So um, the fifth kit I picked was the athlete kit. Now, I like the athlete kit because it's all around well balanced. Um... The athlete kit's pretty much pyromacer, just with the um kick to it. So uh, the kick to it is it doesn't have speed. No, it doesn't have fire resistance, and it doesn't have any kind of fire aspect. It's just kind of uh, a dumbed version of pyromacer. So that's why I kind of like that kit. The kit has gapples though, and it's just a decent all-around kit. So yeah, alright, and so the final kit's going to have to go to the Paladin kit. The Paladin kit overall is just a dumbed down version of Scout. It's just iron instead of diamond, and there's no speed to it. There's regeneration instead. Now against kits like Pyromacer, this kit's really not going to help you too much if I'm being honest. Um, There's really nothing you could really do to stop somebody using a kit like that. But it was the fifth kit that I chose because I found it kind of easier when you were taking care of kits like the hound kit or like the armor smith kit and um those are actually two honorable mentions the scout and armor smith uh those are actually two honorable mentions by the way um the armor smith and the hound kit now, i didn't pick the hound kit because uh, obviously you get your hound, but once again, when it comes to these five kits, it's really not gonna serve you too much of a purpose unless you're like super good at the game. And uh, the armor smith was just really bad. The whole idea is to uh, use an anvil to um, put some sort of like uh, enhancement on your sword. 
and it just really doesn't help you out in the long run because the enhancement isn't good enough to allow you to win so yeah um but thank you guys for watching this video i hope i was able to help you out you know just genuinely giving back some of my knowledge to the community because y'all watch this video if you're new to this channel consider hitting that subscribe button we're on the road to 300 subs and uh if you're old to this channel or you know you've been here consider sharing this content to a friend or a family member uh, i'm really trying to run it up and if you really genuinely enjoy my personality and like me as a person just hit that subscribe button because it helps me and it inspires me to keep on making more content so yeah peace